Hello and welcome to another edition of the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week with me Craig Barton. Now some of you may be familiar with pile-up resources um, from TES or from, from other sources. The first time I ever came across one was uh, on Will Emney's amazing Great Maths Teaching Ideas website where he actually did a trigonometry pile-up activity but it just consisted of uh, Fra uh, Pythagoras and Sokotoa and it was absolutely wonderful. And if you search on TES for pile-up, you'll, you'll find loads of other ones. You'll find a Pythagoras one, which is superb, and you'll also find an Angles one. And I absolutely love these style of activities, but this is probably the best one I've ever seen because it does something that is absolutely of fundamental importance. So this one, uh, this trig pile-up uh, covers Pythagoras, Sokotoa, so trigonometry and right angled triangles, and the sine and cosine rule. It's a simple PDF, and I'll just show you what it looks like before I tell you what I absolutely love about it. So there it is there, and the idea is that students have to uh, essentially work their way through and try to figure out what X is and Y is. But obviously they can't start at the top, they've got to work their way up from the bottom, working out missing information to get all the way to the top. So one thing I love about pile-up activities is just the setup of them. Um, you've got it on a single side of A4, but kids are having to do flipping loads of calculations to be able to figure it out. So that's great. Um, it's a different form of practice, but it tends to be, and I don't really like the use of the word engaging. I think it's misused a lot, but it, this is quite an engaging way to get that amount of practice out of students. So I love it for that. But why is this one of my favorite ones? Well, because I tend to find that the, the reason kids go wrong with Pythagoras, Sokotoa, Sine Rule and Cosine Rule isn't actually using the formulas or the rules themselves. Most students or many students can, can do that. The reason kids go wrong is they don't know when to use them. So they don't know when to use Pythagoras ahead of Sokotoa or probably more, uh, more prominent is they don't know when to use sine rule ahead of cosine rule or don't know whether to use sine rule instead of Pythagoras and so on. So you've got four pretty major rules here and you've got a wonderful way of not just testing whether kids can use these rules but whether they can spot when it's appropriate to use these rules and that is an absolutely fundamental skill um, that kids need to know. In my experience they're a bit dodgy at it but this is a wonderful way of testing and assessing that um, and best of all and you know I love this when it's a TES resource the answers are included so look at the calculations there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it probably eleven things that kids have got to do before they get to working out what X and Y are so it's great for testing their systematic working it's great for them kind of seeing small steps working backwards from a problem and so on so I absolutely love this uh, trigonometry pile up as I say I'll put links in the um, in the description kind of below this video to a couple of other pilot uh, activities that I absolutely love on TES as well. But I just think that's wonderful. So if you use it and if you like it, hop back on, leave a re uh, review, <laughs> help if I could speak, for the resource author. And I shall be back with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.